to say that we are under um, some kind of secretive talks that we want to lift up this ban is not true. What we're trying to do is find common ground, uh, which is important, that while we uh, acknowledge that the NGOs have assisted us uh, by offering financial compensation to the fisher, fisher folks or the fishing community, um, there is someone out there who says that they have been left behind, but we have nothing to do with that. But if there is someone out there who feels that they have been disenfranchised by this gilded ban, this is the every right of religion. If you feel that your rights have been violated, they have a right to seek redress in court. What is the position with the, with the ban, sir? Are, is your ministry in full support of it? Or what is, their, what is the position from the government of the day? The government position of the day still stands that we will always advocate what is there, that the gilnet net ban exists. But we also are advocating that we must be working with all stakeholders in place. We must making sure that the, whatever is there to be given off to our fisher folk or to the villagers on a whole, that it is done in a fair, transparent, and equitable manner. And this is where our concern is that, and, and perhaps might be to the point that the last is coming, that certain people or some of our villagers may have been marginalized.